Hey everyone, it's ADS Diecast here. Today we're going to be looking at Series 3 Racing Hitch and Toe. So, this should be pretty dang cool because I am very excited to have this in my hands because these don't really show up here in Canada all that often. I don't think they show up at all um, anymore in either Toys R Us. We don't get it at Walmart, nothing. So managed to get this from a hobby store nearby. Got the whole set. It was not very cheap, but you know what? The whole set came up, came uh, up for sale, so I just had to get the whole thing. Let's get right into it here. Didn't even pre-cut them. It's just going to be raw. Hopefully, we don't get any damaged vehicles. I took a brief look at them, and they seem to be all all right. So the first one we're going to be looking at here is the 2021 Silverado with the 2021 Corvette C8 in this golf livery, which is really, really, really awesome. Um, yeah, I absolutely love this one. This one definitely is my favorite. And then the back there, which all hitch and toes are roughly the same. I mean, there's a lot of weight to this thing. So let me cut this open here. And we'll get right to it. Yeah, these, like I said, they don't come up too often. Racing Hitch and Toe, and they're not cheap. I mean, I don't know how much I paid. 25 or 30 a piece? Like, not cheap. Canadian, of course. A lot of plastic. Oh, there's all that. So, what should we look at first? Let me just pull this trailer because it's easiest. space here just trying to break anything curious to know if what they're going to do with the c8 is um have a hard time because um the c8 from the bear jackson has a removable um target top and some of the ford broncos like the one in the back here um, some of them are glued on and some of them are not for the tops. This one is actually removable and it's kind of interesting the way they did it. They just put a piece of tape there. Huh. So I'm going to remove that real quick. And I know a lot of people are probably going to lose these dang things. I'm going to be very careful here. Because these will be very, very, very easy to lose. I'm going to tuck that on the side here so I don't lose it. And I'll just keep it in the Targa. Okay, so let me actually get these out of the way. We'll be looking at these in a moment. We'll just stick with this one for now. Um, do, do, do. Okay. All right, let's get that one out of the way. Get that out of the way. Let's take a quick look at this trailer. Your simple enclosed trailer, nice roller. Get the stripes on with the ACA unit on top. Great detail here. You do have a piece in the package that you can attach here so it will sit up. You got that there. Nice detail, nice detail. This does not open, but the back does. I'm not sure if I can get it open there. So then you can put your C8 Corvette in there, which I'm sure I will do. So then we will look actually at the truck first. It looks like it has a weird issue going on. I don't know if it's with the base. Just the tire. Can't tell. I think it's just the rim. Give me one moment here. Almost done here. Just trying to fiddle with this. That's better. Um, so, maybe not. I could probably would have made it worse. This is weird, like lean to it. 
I shouldn't be fiddling with this on camera, but I am. Yeah, it's all right, whatever. I'm not gonna fill it with that too much. So you do not have any opening parts on this tooling, but you do have a hitch, right? So you got this nice blue paint. Everything else seems to be flawless. Probably a little bit of oils on there, like a typical green light. RST trim, which is pretty dang cool. Um, RST, I think that's the um, oh, performance one, whatever it is, I'm assuming. That wheel is bothering me. I can't just get it right. Yeah, whatever. So you don't have a lens detail, but this this grill with the lights is all like one piece. So it comes all out there. So it kind of has lens detail. And you get a little bit of detail there on the mirrors. Get the lighting a little better wheels look fantastic i know i was wasting too much time with that base separate piece bumpers and then we'll fiddle with this here uh sure i may i think the base might be moving a little bit that's whatever um but yeah so metal metal construction i don't know if the number you can see on the bottom here uh, like 8681 or something so there's that one and then we have the ca corvette which doesn't seem to roll all that well i don't know if there's flashing or something i can't see this thing because the room's so dark whatever i'll have to fix that after it doesn't have any base lean or anything but you do have the same lens detail there a little bit of oily windshield but not a big deal other than that this looks fantastic and what i actually forgot to mention in my last video if i can open this dang thing is it actually has an opening trunk slash hood whatever you want to call it i think i can get this thing open without breaking that'd be funny if i broke it wouldn't it they're very delicate, these things. These actually open up. And it's funny because the target top is supposed to fit in there, and it almost does. I'm sure if you trim the sides just a hair, it probably would. So, snaps there because it barely sits behind the wing. This one does have the wing. I don't think the other C8 has the wing. Um, lens detail in the back. Great detail there. I'll zoom in a little bit more. Let's check that one out. That one looks amazing. And the number on the bottom, GL202, interesting. Uh, man, I can never read the numbers. You, oh, I don't think there is a number. On the secondary cars on these hitch and toes, there's no numbers. Only on the primary car. So, there's that one. I'll get that out of the way and we will go ahead and open the next one and that will be let's look at this f350 2019 f350 with the mustang 2021 mustang mach 1 i actually didn't know this was a mustang mach 1 i thought it was a gt 350r but it is a mach 1 so that'll be interesting because i don't think i have a mach 1 in the collection well, this one's pretty cool. I do really enjoy the S350 tooling. So much packaging here. There's that one in the shell livery. Okay. So, there's a lot of packaging I gotta deal with here. Um, so do have a little bit of, uh, that's actually coming off, so not even a big deal. Nice roller, good. Number 21. 
Yeah, that looks fantastic. The insides of these will always look the same. There's no point in opening that. It's just a nice trailer. Okay. Clean up all this crap. Ooh, that's a good roller. So, a bunch of debris and crap. I'll have to fix. Better than that, you got the. Did say Goodyear? Too hard to read. Goodyear, yeah. Tires. Look at the tread on those tires, too. That's pretty cool. That's got to be different. Number 542 there. Metal and metal construction. Um, I should mention these are metal base. Yeah, plastic body. So here's this. Look at the detail on that. The windows are really bad on the inside. I wonder if there's a way I could fix that. There's like gunk on the inside of it. Ew. I'm gonna death it to try to fix that. That's not really supposed to be like that because in real life that's supposed to be flush. It's not flush, the window sits in. I don't know if they're all like that. I never really paid attention to it. Do have nice mirrors here. Like I said, lens detail. Um, running board detail. Bed liner all sprayed up. Nice detail on the back of the shell there. Does this one have the removable hitch? No. Because some of them, I've never seen it, but apparently some of them have a removable hitch. Like they can, you can just remove the ball. I'm going to figure that out because I've never gotten one with it. It's just a nice piece. I'll have to clean that up good, but... Other than that, it's a nice piece. Alright. And the car in this one is the 2021 Mustang Mach 1. So I've never seen one of these before. Mach 1 on the back. That's pretty cool. Needs a good cleanup, but not a big deal. Mach 1 on the side for performance. Are these lens detail? I think it's painted detail. It looks alright. Can we get the hood open here? Ooh. That looks fantastic. Wow. I like that a lot. The shot's really good too. Wow. We do have a separate piece here for the spoiler. Making sure it's all good. Doesn't need to be re-glued. Let's not lose that. And the wheels look fantastic. Yeah, I dig that. Um, GL one something. 192, I think. And, oh yeah, forgot. The secondary cars do not have a number. And the last one we're going to look at, because this video is going to go on for too long, is the 92. F-150 with flatbed trailer and the 92 Ford Bronco in the BF Goodrich Goodrich uh, livery. Oh my god, like a rally car, rally Baja truck thing. This one's pretty cool. So much packaging. Okay. So, metal base, plastic top, that's pretty cool, solid roller, probably a little bit of wonky wheel, a little bit there, but not a big deal. Once I attach that piece, it'll sit nice and level, so there's that one. I like the detail on that, that's awesome. And the truck and... Oh yeah, I should mention. You do have little plastic ramps that come with it that you can attach to, which I won't do right now. It's just too much time. So let's see. Solid roller. A little bit of paint issue on that fender, but not too big of a deal. I need to adjust these tires a little bit. 
There we go. Um, doesn't appear to have any flaws. Bed looks to be nice and flat. A little bit of paint flaws there, but not a big deal. Do you have a nice chrome bumper? That's nice to see. Yeah, wow. When I open these up, I'm a lot more impressed with them than uh, when I see them in package. When I see them in package, I mean, they're cool, but nothing beats when they're open, right? Um, you do have lens detail, which look great. Some of these F-150s of this generation, um, the black and the grill, they tend to miss that for some reason or, or something happens. This one has it on both, which is nice. So the chrome bumpers look good, white bumper on the front. Yeah, I dig that. It's got a nice stance to it too. No opening parts? No. So the number on the bottom here. 152, I think, 1152, I think it is. So there's that. And then we have the Bronco. Like I said, the top comes off. I will put that on because this one had, is not glued on. So let's see. A little bit of a misaligned wheel, but not that big of a deal. Probably my fault, honestly. Yeah, the wheel just needs to be put back on. A little bit better and I'm sure I can get that no problem um, this kind of just sits there so we got the white bumpers in the rear and white bumpers in the front with the push bar pretty cool see how has the black in there that looks good the lens detail This thing looks incredible. Yeah, a little bit wonky on the uh, writing on the tires, but I could easily just rotate those tires around. Not that big of a deal. And yeah, another fantastic piece to add to the collection. So let me move these cars around a little bit. And I show them off all together. Yeah, like I said, I like to have these cleaned before I like to show them. Decide not to this time. Get these things out of the way. And that is it. So, a bit of a long video here, but um, hope you uh, enjoyed watching. And uh, yeah, thank you for watching.